Hello and welcome to All Things Green. And today we are going to start a series that I've long thought about making and finally got to do it. Um, and that is classification or taxonomy of ocean life. Um, as many of you may or may not know, there are several different levels of classification with the most broad level being domain and the most specific being species. In between there, there are several different things that like separate other species into categories and everything. But basically, it's an easy way to group similar organisms into these categories. And for um, the next few weeks, I'm going to be making videos on the under the domain eukarya, but more specifically under that domain, um, the kingdom animalia. And I'm going to be going over each individual kingdom, or no, each individual phylum within that kingdom and talk about the kinds of organisms they are, what makes those organisms those organisms, and give a few example, give a few examples of those organisms as well. And I am very excited to start doing this. Um, for example, uh, I'm going to be talking about things like cnidarians, which includes jellyfish, anemones, corals. Talking about, as well, we're also going to be talking about echinoderms, which are starfish, sea urchins, sea cucumbers, things like that. Um, mollusks, that's another big one. Chordata is a huge phylum. Chorda chordates are, well, we're a chordate, actually. Um, vertebrates are basically any kind of chordate. Anything with a backbone or something that acts like a backbone. And there's, I'm going to be going into depth about all of these different kinds of organisms that live in the, or the ocean. I'm going to make a video describing what makes this what makes something fall into this category and what makes this not fall into this category. Then I'm going to also make videos about specific ones inside those categories, such as, for example, inside like the phylum uh, Cnidaria, I would talk about, if I go into the phylum Cnidaria, I will actually look at each of the individual classes and then I will go into the class of Scyphozoa, which is the regular jellyfish, not the box jellyfish. They're in a completely different one. But Scyph Scyphozoa, and I will talk about, for example, maybe a moon jelly or a Atlantic sea nettle, something like that. Um, more specifically, to get this thing sorted out and I want it to be as organized as possible um, so that it's easy to find information on all of these and to get more notified on the organisms that live in the ocean and more specifically like the kinds. There are several different things to look at and I'm excited to start doing this and I hope you guys will really enjoy this This series and if you like the if you like these videos please show them to your friends send this send these to everybody i could use all the support you can give me uh i've always wanted to do kind of like a youtube thing so just any kind of support i'm very grateful for i know i have like no subscribers right now but it is what it is i'm trying to get out there i know it's going to be kind of hard but anyways i hope you guys will enjoy these videos that I'm going to be able to make a lot more often. And thank you guys so much for watching and like and subscribe and comment anything below. Thank you.